All right, so I officially want to welcome you to the 2020, 2021 third grade orientation. Use those emojis and give yourselves a round of applause. You are on mute and the reason you're on lock mute is because there are a lot of people with us today from home and from school and we wanna make sure that everyone gets to hear everything and that you walk away today feeling confident about your transition to Davison Avenue. Now, I know that the second grade teachers have prepared you for this big milestone. And come September, you're going to be arriving as our third graders at Davison. And we are so, so, so excited to greet you and for you to continue your Malvern journey here at Davison. So the first thing I want us to do is you're going to take your finger and you're going to scroll through the screens and I want you to take a look because there are your friends that you currently have at Davison joining us and you have some parents are on with us and you can even see some of the third grade classrooms if you scroll through the screens. So take a moment to do that to see who's with us today. It's really important to know who your company is. And the company are the people who's joined us. So I'm going to do that too. I'm taking a moment to scroll through to see everyone who's joined us today. You can wave to your friends. My third graders, make sure that you're waving to our incoming third graders, to our second grade friends. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to share my screen because we have a lot of information that we're going to share in our Third graders are going to join, stay on with us probably for the first 10 minutes or so so they can watch the video that I have prepared with you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to share so you can see my screen. And we're going to get started. So welcome to the third grade orientation, a very big milestone in the school year, especially this school year where every milestone we reach is monumental and exciting. And we're so grateful to be at this moment. So let me introduce you to some very important people and some familiar faces that you're going to see when you arrive in the building. I am Miss Gross and I am the principal here at Davison Avenue. Depending on how your screen is set up, you can still see me. So I'm okay. This is Mr. Ben Fonte. He is the assistant principal here at Davison Avenue. And I know you know him from Downing as well. Mr. Ben Fonte is going to give out a wave if you can see him on your screen. And this is our third grade team of teachers. Now, my arrow is going to circle the face so I can, when I say the name, this is Mrs. Stanton. This is Miss Boletari. This is Miss Schwendel. This is Miss Christensen. This is Miss Schwartz. This is Mrs. Alert. And this is Mrs. Malone. And they are our third grade teachers. And they are going to be here on the first day of school, welcoming you into their classes. And you're going to have a very successful year in their classrooms. Over the summer, you're going to get a letter from one of them, introducing themselves and telling you everything that you need to know about being in their class. So our third grade teachers, if you wanna give a wave, cause some of our students can see you on the screen. Great. To get us started with the third graders present, we have a video that we've shared with you, that we prepared for you, that we want to share with you. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Are you excited for the new year? I sure am. I can't wait to see who's in my class. Whoa. Hey, are you lost? Hey, we can show you around. Do you like that? You know, the first day as a new third grader can be scary. Don't you... We are here to help. Follow us. Don't forget to say hi to Miss Amy. She's our security guard. Miss Amy gives awesome high fives. This is Miss LaVenture, our social worker. She's a great listener.
Hey, can I help you? Looks like you brought in a note about the bus. Those always go in the main office. Oh, you must be new here. I see you have an orange card. You can give it to the nurse. Hi, I'm Savannah. This is Erica and Josie. We're on our way to Mr. Gervonta's office. He has some cool sign stuff in his office. Oh, welcome, Mr. Bird Hey, Dan Bird Breaker. He's an explosive psychologist. He is always here if you need to talk. Hey, Samari, I think we have another student. Yeah, you think they're lost? I think so. Welcome to your third grade class. This is where you will learn really cool stuff and have tons of fun. Time for special! Hey, I'm Mr. Mike. Do you need me to show you where Miss Rose's office is? Follow me. Welcome to Davison. You are going to love it here. I have a few friends who want to share some of their favorite things. Go take a look. I love Davison Avenue because I learn new things every day with my classmates. My teachers are always there to lend a helping hand whenever needed, and I couldn't thank them more for their dedication and hard work. What I love most about Davison are the teachers and my friends. I love playing in the place with my special swings and monkey bars. Three things I love about Davison are the special instructor to explore. Explore is a period spent doing what's fun. Whether it's playing or running around on the playground. Also, I like the teachers because they have knowledge in a variety of subjects and they are patient and understanding. I love Davidson because all our specials are really fun and especially explore. I like spending time with my friends. Also, I like playing on the playground at recess. I love Davidson because the teachers are very nice and they help me in ways I can understand. Another reason I love Davidson is that the specials are very fun. I love that when you get into fifth grade, you can do special forces. Special forces is a group that does community service. At Davidson, we have a school chant that we do during assemblies. We chant it with dance moves. So how was your first day? Was it great? I know you're going to have a fabulous year because Davidson Avenue truly is the best. Are, are you excited for? I hope that gave you a little taste of what Davidson Avenue is all about. And now we're going to take a closer look at these spaces. So this is the outside of our building. If you've ever driven down Davison Avenue before, you know that this is what our building looks like. This is picture was taken during my favorite time of year when these trees blossom in March and it only lasts for a short amount of time. So I always like to take a snap a picture during that time. This is what a typical third grade classroom looks like. This picture was taken in a typical year when we're allowed to put our desks close together. And we're gonna talk a little bit about what that might look like next year because there's still so much unknown. But it looks a lot like your classrooms from Davis and from Downing, but the chairs might be a little bigger. The desks are a little larger. You'll notice that the whiteboards look similar. There's student work hanging, and it's really warm and friendly, just like your downing classroom. This is our STEM lab. In our STEM lab is where you come to learn about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and even a little art. A lot of the things that you see in this picture were made by the students, like this curtain made out of recycled soda caps and water bottle caps. If you look at the wall over here, 
you can see that there's a Lego wall. Over here are our lab coats that our STEM engineers wear when they come to STEM class. And there's a lot of group work and projects that happen in this room. This is our library media center. Our library media center is where you're going to have a learning lab. And that's a class where you come to do some research and find out information about topics of your choice. You can see the wobble stools and the tables, lots of books for the research. And of course, you can't do research without the internet and computers. This is our art room. Now you'll be very excited to know that the t art teacher here at Davison is the same art teacher that you have at Downing. So Mrs. Ebbets is going to be a very familiar face when you get here in September. And this is our art room. This is our cafeteria. This picture on top is the kitchen area where you can uh, use your card to buy your lunch, pick up your food. And this is the area where the students eat their lunch. Now this year we did not eat in the cafeteria and we don't know what it's gonna look like next year, but of course I wanted to show you a picture. This is our playground. I know many of you have played here in the afternoons after dismissal, and this is our gymnasium. Looks a lot like your gym in Downing, just a little bigger. And this is our explore zone. If you've ever passed by our school, you saw this trailer outside that is painted all these cool colors. This is what it looks like on the inside. We have a Lego wall, and we have all of this soft seating, a large screen. This is where Explore happens. At this time, I'm going to ask our current third grade classes to wave goodbye and have a wonderful afternoon. And we thank you for joining us. And we're just going to keep our third, our second grade families on. So let's give them a moment to exit. Wave goodbye. Thank you for joining us, third grade. Thank you, third grade. Only our second graders are staying on now with parents. Great. So this next slide is take a look is called Davison Avenue Summer Unplugged. Instead of a regular reading program this year, and now that you are part of Davison Avenue, you're going to be part of the Summer Unplugged program. We decided that since you have been on your iPads since March of 2020, learning with Seesaw and WebEx and doing all of these apps and going on digital platforms, we've decided it's time for a little tech break. And we're going to do some old school activities. You're going to be getting an envelope with a sticker on the side that says Davison Avenue Summer Unplugged. And inside is going to be a menu of ideas for cooking and baking, trying new recipes, going to the library and taking out a book, making a play date with a friend, using your bicycle or your skateboard to get some exercise in and fresh air, making use of your local pool or getting some sun in by going to the beach or hanging out in your backyard. And in that packet, you're going to also have some supplies to use to make a summer scrapbook because the goal will be for you to share your summer unplugged experiences when you come in September. So look out for that. We're gonna be sending them down to your second grade teachers to give out so you have everything that you need for your summer unplugged. This is what a third grade schedule looks like. So we call this a day at a glance. Our buses arrive at 7.45 in the morning and our walkers and carpoolers arrive at 7.55. And the reason why that's 10 minutes apart is so that we can kind of make sure that we don't have too much traffic in the morning. You arrive to the back of the school and we enter through the cafeteria. So you know where the playground is on the blacktop. If you're a walker or a carpooler, you're gonna enter through the blacktop towards the cafeteria doors. And of course, if you take the bus, and if you qualify for the bus, so parents that are on with us, any information about busing gets transferred from Downing directly to us. And just keep in mind that as long as you live more than 810 South Trail away from Davison Avenue, you qualify for the bus. And our schedule is very similar to your schedule at Downing. So this is what it's going to look like next year. You'll arrive between 745 and 755 and you enter through the cafeteria and you're gonna make your way up to your classroom. You'll have two periods of ELA with your teacher, and then you're gonna to go to a special. And that special might be PE or music or art. 
explore, technology, learning lab, and then you go back to class for two periods of math. After math, you have lunch, and then you have the enrich and support period, and that's the period where some kids go to special, some kids go to reading, some kids go to math, some kids go to resource room, or OT, or speech, and then there's two periods at the end of the day for science and social studies. Very similar to Downing, but if you'll take a close look up here, the times are different. We start at eight o'clock is our first period and dismissal is at 2.33. And we're very excited that we're going back to all nine periods next year. Davison Avenue best. We have a mantra here at Davison Avenue, and that is that we always do our best. If you remember the video that we just watched, I said Davison Avenue is simply the best. Best stands for being respectful. Every decision counts. That we always stay on course and we take responsibility. We take responsibility for our positive actions. We take responsibility for our mistakes and we always grow and learn together. And that little orange card on the bottom is an example of an orange card that a teacher might give a student to celebrate something that they did that falls under the category of best. Every month, we like to honor our students that really embody what it means to be a Davidson Avenue best student. So that's being a good friend and being an excellent student and caring for one another and being a responsible, student who takes responsibility for their own actions. Clubs and activities. We have a lot of club choices here at Davison. Look at that list. If you're into chess or you want to learn about chess, we have a nutrition club. Our brain boosters club is all about games and ways to expand our thinking with um, uh, games that help us boost our brain skills. We have newspaper club and this year they put out some really awesome issues. We have our math club, our social studies club, STEM club, art, glee, and hopefully we're going to introduce makerspace. So some Davison Avenue tidbits. Birthdays and are very big celebrations here, but we have to remember that we have uh, students that have allergies and that's when you can send in a nut free snack and the teacher will decide when it's appropriate time to celebrate with a nut-free snack. If you're gonna have a birthday party outside of school, we ask that the invitations should only be distributed in school if 100% if of the class is invited because we never wanna make anybody feel bad. Of course, we have a nut-free table in the cafeteria and we have a policy that we don't have our phones, we don't have slime, trading cards, or to cards and toys in school. And the reason for that is because those usually end up being a distraction. We ask the parents send in a daily snack for our morning recess time. And for parents that are on, I urge you to come to PTA meetings, to join SEPTA, and to come to parent academies that we have throughout the year. And of course, school clothing. We don't have a dress code, but we ask that every morning you take a look at yourself in the mirror and you ask, is this appropriate for school? And that includes your footwear. You wanna make sure that you're wearing shoes that um, are closed toe that you can wear to PE and that do not interfere with learning. So this is a very interesting year, right? And I know that we've all overcome so many challenges, but we still have a lot of unknowns. And that's why I have all these question marks at the tops. So we don't know what the mask rules are going to be. We know that just yesterday, masks outdoors became optional and that could change again and that could change more than one time. We also don't know about the COVID questionnaire if we're gonna have to be answering that every day next year, but I put it on there because that's one of our unknowns. Right now, the regulations say that we have to be socially distanced with our desks between three and six feet apart. That might change too. Currently, we don't eat our lunch in the cafeteria, and that also is subject to change. So I can't really guarantee what we're, this is going to look like, but I put them all on this slide because it's things that we're going to have to explore over the summer. So for parents that are on, I urge you to Join the Davison Avenue PTA. This is their email address. They have a Facebook account. There's a Twitter account. I urge you to be active early and stay connected early. And ways that you can stay connected 
is number one, to sign up for our Davis and Avenue Remind. Uh, if you look right here, if you take out your phones right now, if you send a text to 81010 and the message that you send is at DAV2031, that is going to be the Remind group for this third grade class until they move up to Herbert. So once you sign up for this Remind group today or tomorrow, you are good to go until moving up when uh, the children are exiting fifth grade. You only sign up once, and it's going to be the third grade Remind app for Davison Avenue. We have a Twitter account, a Facebook account. We always post videos on malvernschoolslive.com. That's where this is going to be posted when we're finished. There's a parent portal, and if you've not gone on there yet through, uh, through Downing, make sure that you get on there early. You can always contact the school, and we can walk you through that. Always look out for my weekly newsletter. Every Friday, I send a newsletter with information, upcoming dates, tidbits about what's going on in the building, pictures of the children, and it's a really nice way to get a glimpse of what's happening inside our building. And of course, the standard email address is the first initial last name at malvern.k12.ny.us. So the same formula that you used to contact your teachers at Downing, you can also count contact your teachers and administration at Davison. And before we open it up for questions, I just want to say that without change, there would be no butterflies. So all of those butterflies that you're feeling in your stomach about being a little nervous and being a little anxious, but also being excited, those are all normal feelings. It's okay to have a mix of emotions. Change is exciting, but change is scary. But like the quote says, that if we didn't have change, we wouldn't get beautiful butterflies. And that's where you're all going to be. You're going to be beautiful Davison Avenue butterflies. And I know, I know, I'm positive, I'm certain that you're going to rise to the challenge and you're going to do great things here at our school. So the next part of our orientation is I'm going to be taking questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And the questions today are for the children. So I know we have a lot of adults on with us. So our second grade classrooms that are joining in as a group, if there's a question from a second grade classroom, um, teachers, I'll ask you to unmute to ask the question. Otherwise, children from home, if you have a question, you can unmute yourself. And I'm going to unlock the, unmutes in a, the microphones in a second to ask a question that you have about maybe a slide that I shared or something that I didn't share that you're really curious about. Give me one second. I do also see that there are Not letting me unmute. One second, guys. I apologize. Oh, oh here we go. I think now it should work. Give me one second. Okay. If you have a question, you can unmute yourself. Second grade teachers, if you don't have a microphone, you can email me a question or you can text me a question. So third, uh, second graders, anyone have something that they wanna ask or something that they're interested about? You can unmute yourself to ask your question. Hi, Cameron and her mom. Hello. Uh, hi. We, I wanted to know when they leave from one class to go to the next subject class, do they go? Do they all go to the same class together? Or? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's an excellent question. This is not like the middle school yet. We this the third, fourth, and fifth grade building is what prepares you for the middle school. So that doesn't happen until into fifth grade, where there is some ability for students to walk by themselves. Third graders and fourth graders walk everywhere with the teacher and with the class. Okay. And then what time does school end? 2.33. 2.33, okay. And does she have the option to get dropped off and then take the bus home? 
Yes. Okay. All right. All transportation arrangements will be made with the main office. Okay. All right, thank you. Sure. I saw there were some students with their hands up. If you, if a student has a question, you can unmute yourself and go ahead. This is Sophia. Who's going to be our PE teacher? Your what teacher? Our PE teacher. Oh, your PE teacher. That's a very good question. So this year, because of the COVID schedule, all three elementary PE teachers taught in Davison and taught in Downing. So you know your PE teachers already. Mrs. Iannacci and Ms. DeSormo are the PE teachers at Davison Avenue. And believe it or not, the same is true for um, music. I know that you had Ms. Papilo this year. She also teaches at Davison Avenue. That might change, that might not change. Um, I know that you also had Ms. Ebbets at Downing. She teaches at Davison Avenue. This year was very unique in that all the special area teachers taught at both schools. Does any other student? Have a question? Uh, a question came in to find out if there's going to be Mac. From what I understand, Mac is coming back. I don't have all of the details, but parents that are on, if you have questions about Mac and enrollment, you have to contact the Mac director directly. All right, students that have questions, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Is, is there going to be a science club? Uh, yes, we have two STEM and science clubs. There is one called Tech Toy Box, and one called A Time to Invent STEM Club. And time make your to invent. Time to That's invent. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I, like I, to love, build. I love the. I love the enthusiasm. And if you're a creative type, then Makerspace might be for you. And there might be a choice on there that I didn't even put on the slide, so you don't have to decide now. You have time to do that in September. A I whole did an engineer kit. A whole menu of clubs is going to come home in a flyer in your backpack in September, and you get to choose. Excellent question. Next, who else has a question? You can unmute yourself and ask. Excuse me. Yes. Joshua Steele. Um, what am I going to learn? Instruments. Instruments. Two. Very, very good question. Instruments start in fourth grade. So in third grade, you have a whole year to get used to Davidson Avenue, to get a little bit of an intro to reading music notes with your music teacher. And then before fourth grade, you decide if an instrument is something that you want to learn. It's not for everyone, but if you want to pursue that, everyone is welcome. Some kids decide that that's not for them. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. These questions are excellent. Any other student who has a question about Davison or third grade? This is Chloe. I'm going to stop. And for space club, what time does it start and end? So the times for the clubs um, have not been determined yet, but all of the information about clubs will go out in September. Some clubs are before school and some clubs are after school. But all the all of the times for the clubs, that information will be shared with you. Who else has a question? You may unmute. I'm sorry, you were breaking up. Can you repeat that question? door for students yes. if they are late at school. Yes, a student that arrives after 8.05 will enter through the front door to get a late pass with the security guard. I have another question that came in that asked if there's going to be an in-person tour. Um, there probably won't be an in-person tour, but I want to give you a promise and a guarantee. Now, you know that last year was the first time that we could not have an in-person orientation. And we were really worried. We said, how are the second graders going to come over and have a successful start to the third grade year without an in-person 
tour. But let me tell you something. There was no problem. We had an orientation just like this. And on the first day of school, we had staff and faculty lined up to show all of the students exactly where they needed to go. Nobody got lost. Everybody got to their classroom. Everybody was safe. And by the end of the day, everyone was super confident to return the following day and know exactly where they need to go. So even if we don't have an in-person tour, which there's a good chance we won't, I guarantee that you are going to find success. There was also another question about lockers. We do not have lockers for third and fourth graders. In fifth grade, we have what's something called locker cubbies. Locker cubbies are kind of like uh, cubbies that have a door with a handle. Are um, water bottles allowed? I have another question that came in. Water bottles are 100% allowed. We just ask that you don't send bottles in with juice or milk or anything that can spoil or get sticky. So water bottles are encouraged because we want you to stay hydrated. Because a hydrated body is a mind that's ready to learn. One more, question, one more question that I have that came in. Um, is there another place where kids can play besides the playground? And the answer is yes. Just like in Downing, we have so many fresh air zones. We have the field, we have the exploratorium, we have the pumpkin patch field, we have the blacktop, and you're gonna learn about all those spaces when you get here. All right, who else was about to unmute themselves? I have a question. Um, the um, after the um, clubs, what time is the, um, the ones that start uh, before school? What time do they generally start? Uh, the ones that start before school, yeah. we didn't have them in person this year. If I remember correctly, they started at seven fifteen, but that might that might change, and you'll get po you'll get information on that. Okay, thank you. No problem. Um, this is Cameron. Hello, Cameron. Hello, Cameron. our teacher. You will find out who your teacher is in the summer. In August, you're going to get a packet from the school, and inside the packet will be a letter from your teacher. There'll be a school. There will be a school supply list. There will be a bunch of informational cards that you have to fill out. If you're taking the bus, it'll have bus information. But sometime um, right after the end of the school year, you can even access the school supply list on the school website under the Davis and Avenue tab. Thank you. Great, great question. Um, I have to tell you, I am so impressed by the manners. The poise, the grace, the quality of questions. I mean, you'd think that you were third graders already. Who else has a question for me? And I know that uh, second grade teachers, uh, if uh, your students have questions, hi, um, text or email me or put it in the chat. Go ahead. Hi, this is Joshua Steele. Um, Hello, Joshua. Time or the are the um, um, after school clubs. After school clubs usually start right after school ends. School ends at two thirty three, so some of the clubs start exactly at that time. Some of them start closer to two forty, so that everyone gets on the bus safely. But again, everything about clubs. Uh, Every piece of information about clubs, which we're going in, are not really fully designed yet because we don't know exactly how many clubs we're going to have. You're going to get all of that information probably around the end of September. The goal right now is to get you into the building, get you used to the schedule, the routines. That's how many third grade classes. Excuse me, I'm sorry. How many third grade classes will there be? Is it two or three? There are, going to, there are going to be six third grade classes. I'm sorry, five third grade classes. Five or five, six. Five. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, thank you. Oh, I just, I can see the questions now. So that before I couldn't see them. There's a question about where will we eat lunch? Um, right now, all of our students eat in the classroom, just like you do in Downing because of COVID. It all depends on the guidance from the state. Our cafeteria is big, but it's also small. And when I say it's small is that we cannot accommodate six feet apart in a cafeteria for the whole grade. So we're going to have to make plans over the summer to make sure that we can eat in a space safely. So we might 
be eating in the cafeteria in, in rotations or we might be eating in the classroom. Either way, you're gonna have your lunch periods all at the same time. Um, looking at next year, because the um, guidelines have now changed to be within three to six feet, we're looking at our class sizes to be anywhere between 20 and 25 students. Because the, ch the guidelines have changed, we won't have all of that fancy furniture back in the room, like the horseshoe tables and the bookshelves and the fancy seating because we don't have room. But now with the spacing regulations, we can put the desks a little closer together. So the classes are going to be a little larger than they were this year. But we will have between five and six um, classes all together. We, uh, a question in the chat was, do we teach a foreign language? We don't teach a foreign language at Davidson Avenue, but I know that the district was looking at maybe bringing that um, as part of the curriculum in the future. Questions about busing, you can call the main office. And that's the 887-6462 number, and Ms. Jacobson handles the transportation. Once again, if you live above eight-tenths of a mile from the school, then you are automatically um, given the opportunity to sign up for bus. Information about the bus goes from one school to the other. So anything that we have on file in terms of your address and whether or not you qualify for busing comes over directly from Downing. So there's a question in the chat about masks. Right now, as of yesterday, outdoor masks became optional and that's where we are right now. We know that the guidance changes every day and we are on top of it. So as soon as more information rolls out, you'll know. And don't forget that anything that happens in one building happens in the whole district. So it's not gonna be isolated just to Davison Avenue. Any communications about changes in terms of masks and the guidelines will always come from the district level from Dr. Lewis's office. Excuse me, Ms. Gross, this is Sophia. Um, how do we sign up for the buses? The bus information, if you take, is all going to come from Downing. <clears throat> so it all comes from where you live. So your information from your, from your student records with your address will decide whether or not you qualify for the bus. And if you're not sure if you qualify and you have questions about it, you can always call the main office. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. Who is the music teacher? The music teacher, we have Mr. Morrill, who teaches American music and he teaches band. We have Miss Vitola, who is our music teacher, who was actually out this year because she had a baby. And we also had Miss Papillo, who worked in Downing. The nurse, that's a very good question. Our nurse this year is Ms. Herring, but Ms. Herring is retiring. So we are going to be hiring a new nurse at Davison Avenue. So I don't even know who the new nurse is going to be yet. Any other questions from students? I have to say, like I said it before, the quality of questions is excellent. On point. Will it be the same bus stops from Downing? Um, they might change slightly depending on the student body and what the needs are and what the route is. So it, I'm sure that it'll be close, but it might not be the same. Any other questions? We talked about masks, we talked about busing, we talked about clubs. Excuse me? Yes. This is Maya. Will there still be online learning? That's a very good question. So Dr. Lewis, our superintendent, has already made an announcement at the board meeting. That we are coming back fully in person, which means the goal is to get 100% of our students back into the classroom, which I am very, very excited about. If there's a situation where somebody uh, cannot be around other people because there's a medical concern, then they're gonna have to contact the office and we're gonna make special accommodations. But the goal is to have every one of your beautiful faces in this building in September, and I'm very excited about that goal. Hi, I'm sorry, I must, um, the part, where are the kids dropped off in the morning? Sure, they are dropped off by the blacktop. The, the students are gonna be entering through the cafeteria doors in the back. So our bus monitors um, 
escort the children off the buses from there through those same doors. And if you're a busser or a walker, you drop off there as well. And for the parents that are on the um, parking lot that's adjacent to the building is not used for drop off. It actually causes a hazardous situation. If anybody drives through, you'll see our security guard stands there and doesn't let anybody through for drop off. It looks like, I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Is it Daya, Dia? Why don't you unmute yourself, honey, and ask the question. Where do we lunch? Lunch, we, we spoke about that before. We're not 100% sure yet if we're gonna be able to go back into the cafeteria. So it's either going to be the cafeteria or the classroom like this year, depending on the COVID guidelines, depending on how much spacing we have to have between students. Trey Richards, go ahead, my friend. You can unmute yourself. Does Davidson have a sensory room? A set? Oh no, honey, we don't have a sensory room, but we have an explore zone, which provides another fun space to go to. You saw that picture before, with the colorful carpet and the Lego wall. That's our that's our explore zone, and all kids get to go there for explore. And that place is pretty low tech. We have lots of old fashioned games and puzzles and magnet tiles and building toys and marble runs and all the fun stuff to keep your minds going and to be creative. And for, it's a lot of teamwork that happens in there. Okay, we are one minute before 11 o'clock. So let's go. Final question, Joseph Messiah. Where is the cafe? The the cafeteria doors. The cafeteria doors are in the back of the school. So if you ever passed by our school, you saw where the playground is and the explore zone, the cafeteria doors are right there. And there will be adults and grownups escorting you to where you need to be. Okay. Also in the summer, in part of that packet that you're gonna get, you're gonna get some things to attach to your backpack. And one of the things that you're gonna to attach to your backpack is a little plastic, um, sleeve with a, the name of your teacher and your grade so that when you arrive in the morning, we know exactly where you need to go. Now, you may have some more questions after this. You can always ask your teacher to write them down and your teacher can email them to me. Mr. Talon and I talk all the time. We were just texting each other this morning. So if you have any information that you still need or later you say, oh, I wish I asked Miss Gross this, or I'm still wondering about something else, you can always reach out to me. Parents, I urge you to sign up for that remind. I'm gonna put that slide back up in case you haven't done it yet, because I think we already have 25 participants in that group. And the sooner you join, the more sooner that you can get information from Davison Avenue. I am really looking forward to greeting you in person. I am so excited for this incoming class. I've heard wonderful things from your teachers and from Mr. Talon. And I want to thank you all for joining us today. So I'm going to give you a round of applause for being a fabulous audience. Give yourselves one too. Use those emojis. And I'm also going to do the celebrate because you're celebrating your second grade moving up. And I'm so proud of all the work that you've done. It's an exciting time. A really exciting time. I'm going to share the um, the remind slide as we leave today. But have a wonderful day, and I will see you shortly. Have a great day, everybody.
Need a buy for a half so we know what can happen. Cause dreams do come true. I wonder if I didn't have you. But in hell. I tell you something, for years I have envied your grace, your grace and your charm. Everyone loves you, you know. It is I know, I know, I know. But I must admit, the guy you've always come through. I would have nothing if I didn't have you. You and me together, that's how it always should be. One without me, don't mean nothing to me, nothing to me. Yeah, I would be nothing. No. If I didn't have you to say, I'm just a funky little eyeball and a funky optic knife. Hey, I never told you this. Sometimes I get a little blue. Looks good on you. But I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you. That's dance. <laughs> 